Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live base build video. And it's good to have the time to get back and be able to do one of these. Uh, I am part of the uh, the base building crew in Genesis, so I have some responsibilities there uh, to help people out, uh, give feedback and stuff. And uh, so I am slacking a little bit on that, but I'm also going to kind of get my act together back with, uh, with that. But I'm also trying to uh, be fair to you guys and keep some of these videos coming because uh, I think these not only help uh, my, my viewers, my subscribers, but they're also a place where clan mates can go and kind of see how I build the base live. Uh, because if you teach, or if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, but if you teach a man to fish, uh, you feed him for his lifetime. So uh, that's kind of how this base building series works. If I can teach you guys kind of how to go about building a base, uh, maybe it can help you guys start building your own bases instead of going on the forums or or copying a YouTube base or something. Uh, so anyway, uh, trying out a little bit of a new base today. Uh, we'll go ahead and see how it works out. Got my water bottle. Uh, it could be a long video. They tend to be come, uh, somewhat long, but uh, is what it is. Let's see if we can crank this thing out. So this is a bit of an interesting design I've been playing around with lately. It's kind of like a, uh, it has a bunch of like these skinny, little uh, sections that go perpendicular to each other. You'll see what I mean in a minute as I start to build this. But um, I think it's pretty solid against Valks. Uh, it can be susceptible to other attack strategies, but at this point at Town Hall 9, uh, that's pretty much what you're working with, is trying to defend against Valks first. And if they can three-star you with, you know, go Laloon, uh, it'll, it happens, you know, you can't defend against everything. Uh, by the way, this is a Town Hall 9 base build. So I'm going to put all the Town Hall 9 da stuff down first, and then for you 9.5s who want to uh, see the new traps and some defenses put down, you'll see that as well. But uh, ignore if my stuff, if it's a little bit higher level than what Town Hall 9 is, that's just going to have to be how it is. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'll start with the Town Hall 9 base, like I said. Uh, I'm going to put down the queen up here. You can kind of see the compartment start to take form. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill this in with the typical uh, queen structure around here to help protect her, uh, fill in these walls up here. Is there enough space? Yeah, I wanna have enough space for a, a typical three by three building to fit there to help protect her. Uh, but right here, she's pretty snug. Let's go ahead and move this out one more uh, just to make sure that she doesn't get queen walked. She's not gonna aggro or anything. Yeah, she looks pretty snug in there, so uh, that's good. And then from here, I'm just one thing I've learned is that sometimes filling in the compartments first is better. So you can see how your walls are going to fill out. And then from there, you can adjust them, move them around. If you have extra walls, decide where you want to put those guys. Uh, that can help sometimes if you're uh, if you struggle to build a base. This can be a good uh, way to do it. So anyway, uh, you can see I'm just filling in these little long rectangles with these big long rectangles, I should say, um, about four to five spaces wide and just working my way around here. Oops, let's get that back. Uh, put one here, out like this. Have it be a little bit bigger than the others as far as width goes. And then we'll have it go down like that. I uh, can fit one more, which is perfect. That's all I need. We'll start there and just have it be a little bit of a, uh, something like this. Do I have enough space? Uh, I might not gonna have to cut this a little short here I guess uh, fill it in like that okay I got one extra wall to work with but as far as this goes I think it's pretty solid um, let's see where an air defense can yeah an air defense can't quite sneak back there I guess I could throw these walls back a little bit actually I can save a wall too by uh, ending this compartment a little earlier and then uh, let's have this go like that just so I can now fit an air defense here without it being queen walked Still, at Town Hall 9, you want to make sure those air defenses can't get queen walked. Um, obviously, it's not as important, maybe, but it's still a good idea to do. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these air defenses down. Uh, we'll put one right there, and then we're going to have the other two. Uh, we'll go one there, like that, and then we'll throw the last one up top here. Uh, perfect. We can actually move this over a little bit. Um, right, like, is that good? Yeah, we'll call it good there. Have the air defenses down. Just ignore the, the ones that have been maxed out. Probably kind of stupid to max out my air defenses. I don't really know why I did that. Because uh, at this point, we're not seeing a whole lot of uh, air attacks being used. 
Um, as far as my expos go, I'll, I'll keep them on ground for now. I might switch it, I'm, I might not, I'm not sure. And uh, for this base, I'm gonna try out uh, five single bombs. We'll see how that works. So I'm gonna obviously have potential double giant bomb spots, but in, in reality, they're all gonna be five single spots. So let's start filling in some expos. Let's get that going there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Actually, I want to make sure the expo's not queen walked. Uh, that's important to me. Uh, okay, let's put like an archer tower there. Or, yeah, we can go like that. Alright, that's another possible double giant bomb spot. Just kind of working my way around the base. And then uh, we'll go ahead and throw a defense here. And put like another archer tower out here. Okay, so it's starting to fill in with defenses. As you can see here, the CC range is pretty solid on this base. Uh, just no easy lure really that I'm gonna see taking place. Uh, I like putting the town hall, as you guys might know, right here. Just a little bit of a buffer between the queen and the actual base itself, and then fill in some trash there. Uh, we can throw, go ahead and throw this out there. We'll put an archer tower here, and then uh, we're gonna need one up here just to make sure there's no uh, sneaky funnels or anything. Uh, fill in a few more buildings. We can put a mortar here. Uh, let's do another storage, and uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do another storage for now. Okay, so the queen area looks pretty good. Uh, start looking back down south again. We want to have, keeping in mind, five uh, single bombs, which actually is a little bit harder than you guys might think. And let me just check how many walls. Okay, I have two walls left. Uh, what I'm going to do here is actually expand this out one, and what this is going to allow me to do is put a mortar here and then put a put the mortar there actually and then put the giant bomb here so uh and okay there's this is an important thing to talk about for a second there's only one defense here in the way and for a while i thought that's not a good idea because they can come in they can uh you know take out one defense and trigger the the giant bomb and actually right here maybe even get the c sealer so actually i'll take away the c sealer maybe uh, make them go to the archer tower or something but the the, the, the th my point i'm making is that better have them trigger the giant bomb earlier than later because right now in the game you're seeing valks be a huge part of the attack and taking out almost the entire base along with the queen walk and hogs are just taking out a few surgical defenses so it better they the hogs hit the giant bomb I'm actually going to move this back better the hogs hit the giant bomb earlier uh, rather than later because if it's if it's two three defenses into the base the hogs might not even hit it the valks might take that out so i for me i like having the giant bombs uh hit the hogs i mean obviously you can try to have them try to take out the valks but as long as the valks are under heal the giant bombs aren't going to do much so uh and, I've, and there is the possibility the golem will explode on top of the giant bomb and that combined can take out valks but this is getting really uh qualified i mean it would take so many uh, things to happen at once. So the point is, yeah, on a cleanup attack, they can maybe drop in three hogs and get your giant bomb triggered, but that should be the least of your worries. Uh, first attack should be the first priority. So I would put those giant bombs pretty exposed. I'm going to probably throw another one in this area uh, with a few more defenses. I want to keep the possible double giant bomb spot between these two alive. Uh, that's that's kind of my priority. So I will go ahead and throw uh, probably a wizard tower over there actually a wizard tower and archer tower with that giant bomb in between that looks great uh, we need a little bit of a buffer area here so we'll just throw down a storage and then as far as where I want the king to go um, he could go in a number of places I don't want to put him too close to the core I don't want him to get taken out by Valks too easily so I'm gonna throw him off to the side over here and uh, maybe I'll put the skellies over there as well um, Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see. My queen's probably going to go... Or not my queen. My dark elixir storage is going to go... Um, to help protect the queen a little better, let's go ahead and throw it in here. Uh, just to add a little more uh, HP. You know, prevent against the queen walk if, it, if I can. Okay, that's good. We'll throw the air sweeper right here. Have it pointing down and out. Um... We can throw the other air sweeper right here and have it pointing that direction is great. All right, uh, two of the giant bombs down. I'm actually going to throw one here because this is a tricky split place. People might try to use hogs if they get your queen from the other side. So uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and throw a giant bomb there. And uh, keep in mind, I only have one left. So I might have this area have some Teslas and keep my giant bombs a little towards the other side. But still want to keep them spread out for the most part. I think I'll just throw one right here if I can. I don't think I can even fit one, though. Uh, we'll see how this works out. I'll just keep it out here for now. Um, okay. I'll probably have a wizard tower there. And uh, let's do a wizard tower combo right here. Have like one here, one here. Make it a little bit tricky. And uh, actually what we can do is if we put this one back here, we can have all these little small bombs just to kind of add up the splash damage. Uh, see if we can get some extra damage going on some hogs or something that comes in. So I'll just throw the bombs in there. And then... Uh, I guess that just means we have to have a builder's, where's the builder's head? Just throw one right there. Okay, perfect. Um, from here, let's put an archer tower back. Uh, start to move this compartment back a little bit, actually. I want to keep that archer tower out of queen walk range. Uh, just in case, why not? Can't hurt. Okay, good. That archer tower is back. We'll throw the cannon in here. And uh, what we can actually do is have a little mini potential double giant bomb spot going uh, right like that, I guess. So just another layer on this base of possibility. And I think pretty much everything's been filled in except that little area right up there. Um, keeping in mind that I don't want to use the new defenses or anything. Um, and yeah, why not? Let's put the mortar in here. Uh, can't hurt. Kind of decentralize some of that point defense. Actually, I actually just have some dead space because I want to keep that double giant bomb spot alive. Uh, the mortar's not that important, and I don't get why these walls tend to like get weird on me. Uh, whatever. So yeah, let's get rid of this uh, mortar. Let's put a trash building here instead, and this mortar can go somewhere else. Uh, but more importantly, this next giant bomb, where do I want to put it? Uh, I, th I think, I mean, there's a few possibilities. But I'm thinking just throw it down uh, right here. And I guess that's my fifth. So I'll pick up my fourth. Um, okay, that's good. Giant bombs pretty spread out. Favoring the left side for sure. But uh, that could throw off the attacker. And then as far as where I want my Teslas to go, I usually say have a troll Tesla. Um, assuming this is a Town Hall 9 base, I'm going to stay true to that. And throw one in the bottom corner this time just because there's a lot of room there. Uh, so they're probably not going to drop any troops out there. Um, as far as the rest of them go, I like the idea of having a little Tesla farm in this area. So keeping them separated by walls quite a bit. You know, having one on this side, a few on this side. Trying to make it difficult for Valks if they come through. Uh, just making it so that they can't, uh, you know, get the entire Tesla farm. And I could even actually go a step further. This might be best. And uh, put one in this compartment. So they're, they're definitely on this side of the base, but you know because they're in all these different compartments, it could make it potentially a little bit trickier for Valks. Uh, let's move this out just to help it against the lure. Okay, that's good. And uh, yeah. Okay. Um, there could be some kind of... Do I still have that mortar? Or did I put it down? No, I still have the... Oh, I still have an expo. Okay, I'm stupid. I... Don't do that in a in a real attack. Uh, know where you're where you, if you have that expo because it's definitely important. Let's see where I want to put it now. I'm kind of in a weird position because I uh, I thought I had it, but um, I did it. What we can actually do on this base, and this is a little bit of a tricky thing to do, but uh, keep selecting walls. This ba uh, the base edit mode. I don't know. Let me guys know if you agree. But yep, now it's frozen on me. Okay. Great, yeah, it's frozen. Uh, and I can't hit finish later, even though it's not an active layout. I've had this glitch happen where, and I think if I just... Okay, I'm back, guys. Uh, I had to actually end the recording right there because uh, as you saw, the thing started glitching out on me. It does this weird thing where it, uh, the walls start moving around by accident and then from there I can't... Do, you know, the screen kind of freezes up on me. So... Uh, I can assure you guys that this is like 30 seconds after I ended the last recording. So uh, I, di I didn't like secretly plan this to 
uh, try to, you know, look at a layout or something. Uh, so anyway, uh, right back here with the live base build and just going to finish where I left off. I just was messing around with like a wall in here. So like I said, I have this expo I have to get rid of and everything's kind of back nice and ordered for me, which is nice because I just went back into the base edit. Luckily, when this glitch happens, if you just close the app, it will save your base uh, when you go back to the edit screen uh, for that uh, specific slot. So um, deciding where to put this expo, I kind of should have planned ahead. The thing I might have been talking about, and I, yeah, I think I was starting to talk about this, is having two expos on the same side because that really weakens a queen walk. And especially because a lot of my damage is on the right side of the base, what this does is it allows, uh, because typically where the point defense is weak, that's where you're gonna see people use a queen walk. But if you have your two expos on that side of the base, that can kind of uh, really make it a lot harder to do a queen walk. So uh, it, it kind of makes the entire base tricky uh, because there's a lot of point defense on the other side. So uh, going off that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this out one and just throw another cannon into this compartment. So really load it up uh, with point defense and then I guess I'll have to put a builder's hut right there if I want to keep that giant bomb spot, which I kind of do. So uh, builder's hut right there. We'll just move it over one. Why not? And then I have this little storage to play around with where I want it. Uh, but anyway, I think we're ready for traps at this point. Um, obviously have the new defenses and stuff, which I'm not going to use. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this started with the new traps, uh, or the regular traps. Um, spring traps first. Yeah, these one, these little things, they keep pop popping out. I guess it's my finger or something. Um, but spring traps first. Wanna do it m favoring this side of the base because uh, the other side has the giant bombs, let's remember. So that's something to think about is uh, don't want your spring traps next to your giant bombs because uh, those are two different things. You don't want them to be negated by the same kill squad or the same queen walk. Um, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, where are we? Uh, yeah, so three spring traps down. I might want to put one up here even. Actually, no. I'll, I'll go ahead. And remember, I'm, I want to keep them on the outside of the base mainly. So what we can actually do is move one of these little bombs and throw another one in here. Uh, keeping on the keeping them on the outside of the base because hogs are not going to be coming in that deep, especially with how powerful Valks are. You're mainly just going to see hogs kind of used on these outer few defenses. So what we can do is uh, check this for a second. I might want to move this in one, and then from there I can put a little spring trap down there. Uh, that's yeah, that's good. And then have one more. I uh, already kind of have the right side of the base taken care of for the most part. I'm thinking up top, but there's not really a good place up here to put spring traps that it goes that deep. So what I'll do is I'll really just uh, have that sink down one. Yeah, I can do that. It's fine. And then just kind of load up on spring traps in this area. So if they use hogs from the south, actually no, because the double giant bomb spot's there. There's going to be a kill squad there most likely. I really want to use this where I think they're going to think there's not a double giant bomb spot. If I can really get this to be up top here somehow, see I have one wall compartment left. Uh, I can actually sink this in one. That air defense might be reachable, but yeah, it's kind of the least of my worries at this point. I'll, it'll be hard to queen walk that area anyway. And I'm gonna throw this one on ground, and uh, or on ground and air, and then keep this one on ground only. I think that's fair. Um, just have that one like that to get any air troops or anything. And then move all of this out one, like that. Um, throw this up one, and then, okay, perfect, yeah. And then have the spring trap. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and fill in the, or the few more traps that we have actually. So uh, four of each of these air traps. What I like to do, and I've been doing this a lot lately, is just putting one on each air defense. Um, some people like to kind of guess which ones are gonna be hit and uh, I think you can do that. And actually, I, I, I like to put, I guess I should say three on each of these air, def or one on each of the three air defenses, then one up here by the queen in case some kind of dragon attack comes up here. And uh, because I don't think a lava hound will ever go there, 
just because it's the mi- in the middle of the base, they'll probably try to push him with some kind of big kill squad, then use the Lava Hounds on the more outer ones, is my suspicion. Could be wrong, obviously. And then want to kind of capitalize on the wizard towers I already have. So I can throw two out here, one in each direction. So it's going to be hard for a Lava Hound to get both of these unless it comes at like a perfect angle. And then we'll go ahead and just do the... Yeah, I'll save myself any up top. I don't think there's much of a point. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I guess I could see balloons being used on the back side of this base. So I'll throw one there then just put one... Uh, by this wizard tower right here. Okay, that's that's good. Um, and then just for the skelly traps, I have a few different options, but I think I'm actually gonna go back to the left side of the base to use these and uh, kind of put them over by this archer tower. Actually, I'm gonna put a few here. We have three of them, I think, at Town Hall 9. So I'm gonna put a few here um, to try to pop out, help out, finish some hogs off. I'll just kind of have them sprinkled along this area. I want to keep them together somewhat because they're powerful in numbers, but I want to have them spread out enough that they can activate from different parts of the base. So that looks good. Uh, kind of help finish off some hogs that hit, get hit by giant bombs. Uh, from here, just going to fill in the base, really. I'm going to throw some more HP up here to help out the queen area, and then just kind of start filling in buildings from there. Go a little bit quick because this part really doesn't matter, but I want to you know get the base finished and then... Uh, the last thing I'll do is add the few extra stuff for 9.5. Talk just for a tiny bit about that, but uh, already been kind of a long video and I'm a little tired. So uh, we'll move right along. Um, throwing down these army camps on places where they're not going to be easily broken for a queen walk. So I'll just put two next to each other there and then two next to each other here. They're not really on corners, so the queen walk's not going to be broken on them. Because they're so big, people would like to start their queen walk there. So what you can do is put them right on like in the middle of a side of the base. And that prevents people from just cutting them right there and starting their queen walk. And being able to easily funnel their queen in one direction. Um, okay, going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this stuff right here. Uh, just right like this. Get these barracks down. And... Um, finish this off around the base like this. Um, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, there's a few more. I actually have quite a bit more than I thought I would. And I still have these two over here. So I can make it a little bit more uh, trash around the base. And uh, I actually have a few storages too. All right, this time I got a phone call. So back once again, uh, just shortly after the last clip finishing off this base finally, assuming there's no more interruptions. Just had to get a little bit more trash down. I'm really not going to bother uh, where I put it too much. Um, obviously there's some strategic places to put trash and uh, that it doesn't have a huge impact but it can uh, affect your attack. So anyway, uh, just going to put these last few things down and uh, okay, decorations, we'll forget about that. Uh, so now here's the part with the 9.5 and I'm going to continue the trend of all single bombs. Where I would put my fifth for this 9.5 base is probably just kind of keep the theme of uh, spreading them out. So what I'd probably try to do here is, uh, I don't know if I can uh, with this setup right now, but I'd, I'd want to put it by this archer tower. Uh, that's a little bit tricky uh, because there's not any room right there. So what I could do, I guess, is... I might have to move some things around, but I'd probably try to steal a wall from somewhere, uh, maybe like right here, take this wall, actually I got two from that, that's cool, and uh, move that up, move that, and voila, I don't know, let's put that random wall there, uh, but I'd move that out, I'd find a new place for the spring trap, fill in the fifth giant bomb, and then I could just put the spring trap, you know, wherever, I could just put it, uh, uh, right here, I guess. Not the best spot, but I guess you could find a better one. But I want to keep these five giant bombs spread out. Um, that really makes it hard for a Town Hall 9 attacker because they have so much to deal with. For a Town Hall 10 attacker, it's not that hard. But then again, if you're getting hit by a Town Hall 10 with a 9.5 base, that's pretty much just the, uh, besides the Teslas and like two of the air defenses, pretty much a Town Hall 9 base. Um, it's going to be tough. I do have the, what happened to my fifth? 
black bomb. Where'd that go? They could, yeah, okay, got put back here. I'd probably just double up on one of these. Maybe by, let's do mm, this air defense. Uh, just kind of have to take a guess where a Lava Hound might come. Not really even a huge deal, though, because we're not seeing air attacks that much. Uh, but it can happen, so got to be ready. I think I've been hit by an air attack. Especially if you have an expo on ground, uh, that makes people want to do it, which is fine because it's not always consistent. And uh, sometimes it's better to have someone try to take a risk on your base with that kind of attack strategy, which isn't quite as consistent or as powerful as, as, as Valks at this point in the game. Um, okay, these last few defenses, for these, uh, typically what I do is put them outside kind of like mortars, uh, how some people put mortars on the outside just to kind of mess up golems or something uh, because when they're outside the base they attract the golem the attacker has to keep that into consideration until they're within like one or two levels of your uh, regular stuff so this one that archer tower is let's see can I see what level to go all the way over here again the archer, <coughs> archer tower is level six this is level 11 so obviously you still have a ways to go and uh, cannon the same deal so maybe put the cannon uh, I already kind of have some spread out, but I might replace the mortar with the cannon and then find a better spot for the mortar. Uh, like, I don't know, this is kind of a random spot, but you guys get the idea. Throw it out here. Use those new defenses as a, uh, as a way to kind of get the golems if they're being used to try to uh, move them in a way you don't want them to go. Maybe pull them into a high damage zone, like right here where there's a few point defense. Kind of suck them into your base move them around, uh, do your best there. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Not a huge difference between Town Hall 9 and 9.5, obviously, until you start to get some of the the uh, newer stuff. And I guess I'll just throw this one here. Same principle, try to keep these spread out next to the Wizard Tower. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bit of a long, long video, but a fun series to do when I can. And you should see this series uh, not quite as often as some of the other ones, but every once in a while I'll try to do a base build. And as I, when I get to Town Hall 10 with the actual Inferno Towers, once those go down, you might see some actual Town Hall 10 base builds. But until then, just the 9, 9.5 variety, probably no Town Hall 8 action. Uh, just not worth it. Not Really, I don't have a Town Hall 8 account either. My other one's a 9 at this point. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.